This was the state of the Hialaolu Umuduru Road during the last quarter of 2016. Motorists complained of the hardship they go through plying this road. We Okada people, we are we machine riders, we cannot manage it. Talk less of uh, motor riders. After a visit to Emo State, the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, penned down this and several similar roads for rehabilitation. A few months down the line, the present infrastructure wears a new look and appears safer for motorists. Apart from the Hialolu Umuduru Road, the agency has also embarked on intervention works on critical interstate Awere Mbiseo Bowo Mwahe Road and Awere Onicha Road using direct labor. In Obion Honu community in Isialambana local government area, where we have the kilometer 37 and Amanze 7.5 road, motorists are excited that the federal government has saved the once dilapidated infrastructure. So very bad before. So very bad. But uh, once they come back home, see them um, use the last right and clear it, we we'll have to pray to go and thank God that they have done, done noble. We are, we are so very happy. The agency says it's effectively capturing the critical failed sections of the 37-kilometer stretch and advise road users and host communities to engage in periodic desilting of drainage. The agency have made effective use of the dry period, dry season. Even as the rains are approaching, we are trying to sustain presence on the roads current operations that we can carry out during the period. We are all stakeholders in this project. As much as possible, try to avoid setting up our drains so that water will flow where necessary and don't run back on the carriageway. Because one of the biggest enemy of this asphaltic pavement, specific pavement, is water. And we have the habit of setting up the drains. So uh, we also encourage the communities where we have our drains passing through this will help us by doing periodic desilting. We also do that. This will in turn help the main alignments to last longer. Going forward, Femmer is optimistic that all the roads will be ready before the heavy rain sets in.